Hello, my sweet friends, and welcome to DIY with Nadia. Today, we are making a super adorable decomage bubble wreath for Easter. Let's get started. For this wreath, I'm starting with six rolls of decomash, and I'm going to be using four purples and two of these really pretty ones and the reason i'm going to be using these is let me show you look at these cute little guys that are going to go in the middle of the wreath everything is from the dollar tree including these little cuties and i thought this would be so perfect because we have the pink the yellow will go with the chick real nice and then the purple is our overall color and then of course you're going to need some pipe cleaners and a wreath form this is a uh, like a beige wreath form from the dollar tree and of course it's 14 inches and you're going to need some kind of a ruler measuring mat for my bubble wreaths i just use this one from the dollar tree because we're going to be making eight inch loops and this is just perfect because it's eight inches right here the last thing you're going to need is some zip ties this is optional i use the zip ties when i'm making the initials beginning and end of our little bubbles because i just want to make sure that it's nice and secured as far as the pipe cleaners, you can cut them in one third or one half. I'm going to cut them in half this time. First, I'm going to start unrolling the deco mesh. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the lilac, then the colorful one, and then a lilac on top. An inch in, I'm going to start bringing it in. You can begin or end at any of these intersections because as you come around you're going to have the other end either in here and here so if i start on two then the other tail is going to go on three so it really doesn't matter which one you start with i'm just going to go in right on top of the intersection right here just like this then grabbing my zip tie i'm going to tie it in place and then this part right here, I'm going to send in the back. It doesn't get in anyone's way. And then we're going to start with the loops. As you can see, my deco mesh is rolled out this way. So the bubbles just form naturally. And I'm going to grab my eight inches, bring it in. Tie it with my pipe cleaner, send the pipe cleaner back. Then my next eight inches, By the way, my bubbles are going on row three. My first section is complete and I have seven bubbles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now I'm going to be moving on to my next section. As I'm making my bubbles over here, I wanted to chat with you guys. So a lot of you have contacted me saying, you know, with the prices going up at the Dollar Tree and the amount of decomash you get for a roll at Dollar Tree, it might be smarter to buy online. Okay, my question is, where do you buy online? Do any of you know a good website where you get beautiful deco mesh and, you know, you save and you buy what you want, buy the colors that you want, and we can have fun with it. So if you buy online somewhere, I would love to hear from you because then I can order, I can try it out. And if I can, you know, justify it being affordable and most of my subscribers can afford it, then I would definitely recommend it and we can try it out. We can, you know, we can do this together because my goal at the end of the day is to make sure that we can all afford these beautiful wreaths. And I'm also not forgetting the fact that not all of us have Dollar Trees. And I thought if we can find, um, you know, a website or two that we can have affordable deco mesh and beautiful high quality deco mesh it'll be good for all of us for now i'm going to continue making our loops and finish off this second and third section of the wreath we are on our last loop here gathering my eight inches and my lilac one is just enough i have more of the other leftover to show you where my zip tie is going it's going right here on this intersection on row two just going to cut this off i got my tail cut off and i'm going to go on the intersection right here i'm going to put this down right here shove it down zip tie it on top 
push it back, finish zip tying it, and cut it off. I kind of left to do the tails at the end, and now I'm just going to go around and uh, do my pipe cleaners. I'm going to twist it twice on top, fold it in half, and then back. That way we're going to have a nice backing here, fold it in half, and then back. All right, all of the back is done on one side, and now it's time to start the second section. So since I locked that in on row two, we're going to start on row three. I already layered lilac, then colorful, then lilac, one inch in. We're going to push it inside right here between rows two and three, just like this. And then grabbing my zip tie, we're going to zip tie it to that intersection on row three just like that and so on your halfway points you're going to have one begin and one end just like that nice and clean you can definitely cut this off a little bit later if you want if it's too frizzy and i'm just going to continue making eight inch bubbles and then of course seven loops per section speaking of the quality from dollar tree i have to admit my lower section right here look at this i'm going to zoom in right here look how much is sticking out at the end and i was not able to see it through the plastic but quarter inch just flapping in the air right here it is ridiculous with that being said i still think wreath forms from the dollar trees are an amazing deal because there's no way you can get some of these beautiful wreath forms like holiday wands and like the crosses and uh, the 3d ones all of those for just a dollar 25 it's really one of the best deals out there but of course the decomage is honestly quality is just not there and since uh, this connection is right here on the third, we're going to finish off on the second. So push it through between rows two and three. Bring out a zip tie in here. See how smooth and clean that is even at the connections? And now I'm going to go ahead and uh, tie the rest of these. This is the completed wreath in the back. Now we go to the front. The way I'm going to open these up is I always start from the inside and I push it down, especially because of how delicate the deco mesh is from the Dollar Tree. I start with the most inner layer and I kind of push it down and then out. So that's our inside layer. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. And so the lilac that's on top is going to be in, on the outside. The lilac on the bottom is the one that's going to be on the inside. And I want this colorful one to be in the middle. So I'm going to continue that. I'm not going to be mixing these up like I usually do when you have three different colors. So I'm just going to start with the bottom one, push it towards the inside, then the middle one. And same thing, we're going to push it down as we let the other lilac go to the side. And then we have this beautiful yellow and pink that's going to be peeking through. And I think it's going to be a really, really pretty wreath. I just wanted to show you the progress real quick. I think it's going to look so pretty with the yellow and the pink peeking through. All right, my wreath is all done and I'm ready to put my cute little centerpieces on. I'm going to remove that. These big little tags are not too attractive, so I'm going to remove those from their little booties. I cannot believe the cuteness that's going on over here. I'm going to grab a 20 gauge 18 inch wire and I'm going to, let's see here, I'm going to poke it through the center of their little bodies. And trust me, this wire is going to be more than enough to hold it in place. I'm going to move my little animal so I'm at an intersection here. That way I can lock it in place. And then I'm going to pull it taut and go in this intersection on the other side. 
and our cuties are all settled in here. This wreath is a little bit on the dark side because of all that lilac and these bunnies just brighten things up. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a color out of our little animals here and do little decor. So I'm going to take the white. We have the nose that's white, the little ears, then this <laughs> little thing right here is white. And of course the ducky has a little bit of white in his eyes. And we're going to bring all of that out by using some vase fillers. And I'm going to be using these. Dollar Tree has these pretty much year round in the silver and the white. This is from Christmas, but they can usually be found in the wedding section. There you go. And you can choose to either use uh, the bigger ones or the smaller ones. I'm just going to use whatever I have. You can also use little eggs. If you have mini eggs for Easter, you can do that. But I find little polka dots are cute and I love polka dots. I'm going to be just adding some hot glue and just sticking them anywhere. And by the way, I did get a new gadget. This is Goo Gonova and it's, look at this, you guys, it's wireless. I'm so excited. I'll uh, attach the link in the description box if you're interested. I found this on Amazon. You guys are going to love it. By the way, look at the tip. It has a pointy tip right here. I am absolutely in love with this little one. And it just, I don't know, I, I, I've been loving it. It holds really nicely in your hand. If you haven't seen one of these, all you do is press and hold on the power button right here until it starts flashing and then it heats up in a matter of seconds. And then that's it, you just use it. If you do get this little baby, let me know how you like it. Cause I've been really enjoying it. I know there's so many gadgets us DIYers can get and a glue gun is a pretty important one and it's one that I absolutely love. And by the way, this blue color is so pretty. So as far as the little vase fillers, I always start with the bigger ones and then as I fill them in, uh, start adding the smaller ones in. This wreath is so perfect for a home with little ones. It's just so adorable or not. I don't have little ones and I'm going to have this hanging on my front door because it just, it doesn't get cuter than this little ducky and <laughs> sweet little pink bunny.